You may have seen these hypnosis videos, right? Lucid dreaming hypnosis, where it's like a guided meditation and they hypnotize you through words to have a dream that you control, like a lucid dream. And in this video, I want to just answer the question, does lucid dreaming hypnosis actually work? Because it's a quite a popular thing. There's loads of videos, loads of views. You may have seen them and you may have even listened to them, but it's not really what you think. And it only works for certain types of people. There's also the question of, is, is hypnosis actually safe? Because what you're doing with hypnosis is you're using uh, subliminal or kind of like unconscious, subconscious messages, and you're getting those into your brain. So you really need to first know that you need to basically trust the person who is actually doing the hypnosis. So whoever's making the video, you first need to really make sure you trust them. Because if you don't trust them, then, or you know, you don't think they're credible, then you don't know what messages they're going to be putting into your brain. And it's just not good. You know, it's just, you should never let messages into your brain unless you really know what they are and you actually agree with them. Or in the case of subliminals and hypnosis, you don't have to know what the messages are, but you, you should definitely trust the person who's giving you the messages. So basically hypnosis, as you probably know, right, it works mainly if you're already suggestible. So if you're already quite open-minded and you're open to suggestions, because most well, not most people, but a lot of people are, are open-minded and open to suggestions. But there's a lot of people, especially in the spiritual community, who are not as suggestible. They are more kind of discerning and they are more able to spot something that doesn't resonate or that doesn't feel right. So, and this is kind of a predicament, right? Because the main people who would be likely to use hypnosis would be spiritual or open-minded people. So you kind of have this little bit of a paradox, really. Uh, but basically, in a nutshell, yes, hypnosis does work uh, and it's very safe, only to the point where if you trust the person who's doing the hypnosis, if you don't trust them or if it's a bad hypnosis or it's, if it's low quality, then it's not going to be so good. So there's a few ways you can tell whether the hypnosis is going to work or not. The first one is just to look p purely at, you know, uh, po popularity metrics. And I know that sounds a bit weird. You're thinking, well, how can you judge something based on that? Well, the YouTube algorithm these days is pretty good. They've spent, you know, a lot of money on making sure that the algorithm pretty much, you know, it has some mistakes and some exceptions, but usually if it shows a video to a lot of people, it means that a lot of people engaged with that video and watched it a lot, a lot of the way through, which is, is a pretty good indicator that that video is good, right? So if you see a, a hypnosis with a lot of views, nine times out of 10, that means that it's quite good because if it wasn't good, people would just immediately stop watching and YouTube would not promote it to anyone. And this is something that you, well, you can test it out for yourself, make your own YouTube video. <laughs> and you'll see that unless you make a really good video, it won't be shown to anybody. And so this is a really quite a, it's a good rule of thumb. It's a good place to start from. So just look for a hypnosis and, and say, right, which one has 10 views, right? And which one has like more than 100,000 views? The ones with more than 100,000 usually are going to be the better quality ones because they're the more popular ones that people engage with and keep listening to. Now, there is a kind of exception to that because what can also trick the algorithm is if the video is, if it sounds good, right? So if you have a hypnosis where the background music is really nice, that's going to keep people listening just as, just as much as a good hypnosis would. So you have to, you know, use your own discernment for this a bit as well. It's not just about how many views the video has. It's also about the credibility of the person making the video. So look back at their history. Do they have interviews? Have they, you know, uh, maybe explained how they make the hypnosis tracks? Has they been doing it for a long time? These are quite good indicators that they are credible and they probably know what they're doing and have made a good track, right? Uh, I guess this doesn't just apply to hypnosis. This probably applies to any area of study, right? Usually if the person has been doing it for a long time, teaching it for a long time, then they have some idea what they're talking about, or at least you would hope they do, right? And the next kind of, I guess, obvious way of telling whether it's good, a good hypnosis or not is first you look for the popularity, you know, do people in the comments say, yeah, this really worked for me, this was really good. Then you look at the creator, so how long have they been doing it and this kind of thing. Uh, and then you look at the results. So you actually listen to the track yourself for a, a few minutes, like three to five minutes, and notice how you feel. Do you feel any kind of shifts happening? Do you feel that you're being guided effectively into a different state of thinking or feeling? 
And if you are, if, if you feel something shift or something a little bit different, that's a very good indicator that it's a good hypnosis. So, and it's a few other ways as well, but then we're getting into more complicated stuff. And for, for nine times out of 10, you know, those three things will help you discern, like this is a good hypnosis, this one will probably work, and this one probably won't work. So yeah, um, with that being said, let me leave a comment letting me know um, the channel or the kind of the person that you think makes the best hypnosis tracks, uh, because I might want to reach out to them and do kind of like an interview or something, uh, maybe get them on the podcast and that might be fun for you guys and something like that. So yeah, let me know and I hope this made sense.